We have some news around the NFL. Uh, defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, Steve Wilkes, has been fired. As uh, I'm sorry, what? From the San Francisco Ooh. 49ers. A change to San Francisco. See, Steve Wilkes is out as the 49ers defensive coordinator. Now, this is a surprise. This literally just broke within a matter of moments here. Uh, we don't even have a take. Did not expect this to take place. Now, I guess the only thing would be is we did win the Super Bowl. We didn't go over the hump. Something's got to change. Kyle Shanahan's head coach. We're not going to fire the head coach. He's the offense coordinator. Patrick Mahomes, game tying drive whenever mm -hmm. they need it. Game winning drive whenever they need it. Just march right down the field. Patrick Mahomes has done this to other teams in the past. We thought Steve Wilkes' defense was phenomenal all year long. Mm -hmm. I think that's a conversation piece. So, a bit of a shocker here, especially this time in the coaching cycle, but that's not the nine fault, I guess, because they make it to the Super Bowl, but this is, uh, this is a shocker here, AJ. This is, this is certainly a shocker yeah. if Steve Wilkes is out. Do you think there, there's going to be a chance we hear that this is somewhat of a mutual situation? Because if they won that Super Bowl, if they made one more play and they win the Super Bowl, I'm guessing Steve Wilkes is still around. Yeah, third and four, they pick up that first down at the end of the game. And Jake, and I think what we're going to learn from in the trenches is they send offensive line left. George Kittle picks up right. Then they have McDuffie picked up. They pick up that third and four first down. They drain the clock. They kick the field goal. They win the Super Bowl. Is Steve Wilkes fired? Probably not. That's why football is wild. That's why the NFL is insane. But then also, if you hold them to a field goal instead of a touchdown in overtime, yeah. we're still playing for the third possession. We go kick a field goal. We win this game. What the offense is able to do. But they're in the Super Bowl. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck was kind of talking about a couple of weeks ago how uh, Wilkes had to call the defense out, you know, as far as like some effort, effort. things. And, you know, he did not, come from the booth. Uh, yeah, and then we talked a few weeks ago, me and AQ, about, you know, how different the defense has been since they lost Hufanga. And obviously, you know what the defense was last year under D'Amico Ryan's. And even prior to that, was with uh, Salah. So, um, didn't expect this 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 firing to happen. I'm with AJ though. I hope it comes out that there was some mutual parting of ways because we were on a run. We thought last year he should have been hired as the, the Carolina Panthers head coach after the job he did as an interim, and then had a great year. You know, a pretty good year this year, and being in the Super Bowl, 19 points in regulation against Patrick Mahomes, obviously going going and lose it. But uh, this is definitely surprising. There's a comment coming from Kyle Shanahan. Shanahan says it was a tough decision, and he didn't mention it yesterday because he wasn't sure at that point which direction he'd go. Says Wilk's system didn't align with what the 49ers had run previously as it just ended up not being the right fit. So, without the right fit at D coordinator, they make the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's a wild thing. Uh, I don't know if it's, is it, he said scheme there, right? So he didn't say personality. It wasn't a personality fit or whatever the case is. And he said he could have went a multiple of different directions as of yesterday. So, either last night or this morning, he just woke up and had to make that incredibly difficult decision there. You, I guess... He could potentially also be a part of a victim of same thing that I guess Purdy was going through. They have so much talent on the defense side of the ball. So does Kyle Shanahan think like, you know, we could, Salah had success. Um, D'Amico. D'Amico had success. Wilkes had success. We could bring in anybody. Yeah. Really. And run. The, is that a mind? Not saying that that's how the case or diminishing anything that Steve Wilkes' brain is or does, but is that what Kyle Shanahan thinks? Like, hey, we have so much talent invested on that defensive side of the ball. All of our defense coordinators have done well. Like, that is that is how we need to find the group that can win us the Super Bowl because they get a stop after we kick that field goal. We win this thing. Is, is that the ultimate reason why? I, I do. I genuinely wonder that. Well, and like, with yeah. those two guys. Oh, my bad, AJ. Go ahead. No, I'm just – I think that – Obviously, there's been issues behind the scenes all year. If they're firing him now, this isn't the first they're, they're thinking like, hey, we need to change it up or this system isn't working the way, like the system doesn't fit our players the way we want to. What would the system be? I, I don't think I fully understand. Because they're running the San Francisco 49ers defense. Is that just what happens? Uh, I mean, every every coordinator is going to come and have their own wrinkles. You know, I've, it's, they've been a 4-3, you know, down linemen, down DNs, but they're going to be more quarters. They want to be man, more man-based, more fire zones, different things. So how you call the game is definitely some things uh, in the game is going to be on everything DB. Uh, I think matchup-wise, they could have and should have done differently, I think, when it comes to handling uh, Travis Kelsey. And then the teams throughout this playoff run, if you look at the NFC side, you know, the Lions, uh, the Packers, what they'll be. Uh, but the teams, like, they had some success, especially in the run game. And you know playoff time is it, going to start with, hey, stopping the run game. If you look at the personnel in San Fran, Hargrave, Bosa, right. Young, Ken Law, and then the second level linebackers of Greenlaw. Obviously, he got hurt. Fred Warner, like you would expect, they, they should be, you know, one of the top teams in the league in the run game. So, didn't have a ton of success in the postseason, and uh, they're they're in championship mode. So, it's just like the same.
change of players. Like, if we need to change a wrinkle here, uh, even though we were this close, maybe that's what we need to change. What did Bill Cowher say? He'll say, I'll fire a coach just to fire a coach. Yeah. yeah. Just to let people know that he needed a little bit of different energy. I'm not saying that's what Kyle Shanahan did, but, like, that is right. They yeah. are in championship mode. Yeah. We need to we need to figure this out how we go. Steve Wilkes will get another job, we assume, but this is late here now. Yeah, and there's no DCs open now, but he'd definitely get another job. Who knows, too, if after the season, like, if any of the players came up and nothing against Steve Wilkes, but if they were like, hey, look, the things that we did, obviously we had our base that the San Francisco defense has that we've had the past couple of years, but the little things that got changed, they didn't help us, like what we were changing last year and those little things that D'Amico was doing, that was a much more better suited for our defense. But luckily enough for the San Francisco 49ers, there is a highly motivated analyst on ESPN that would love – to be a defensive coordinator again in the NFL, that would be pretty electric in San Francisco. A guy who was potentially up for the Dallas Cowboys job. Yeah, I think so. Who really, really, really wanted the Cowboys job because he wants to be on that stage. And the Jesus commercial, people say he loved. That's right. The one where they were washing feet. Mm-hmm. Now, are they a 4-3 and Rex is a 3-4 guy? Is that, yeah, does that, that be? I have no idea. You know, All those intricacies, I got no fucking clue. But I do know Rex Ryan needs to be back in the NFL, damn it. There was definitely an interesting point in that game, right, where, where you saw... Shanahan called timeout. Remember that? Oh yeah, and then he he kind of overwrote. You saw they were he was about to bring cover zero. They already ran zero, mm-hmm. like a zero type thing. They got burnt earlier because Mahomes did I think Rice on a crossing Cross, pattern that yep. went for like forty. Yep. And then he calls the timeout and he's like, "Do not run cover zero again." Like so, against Patrick Mahomes. Bingo. <laughs> 